Kia ora whanau. Uh, mana wahine kōrero here. I uh, hope you're all well. And um, I just thought I'd make a follow-up video to the first controversial one <laughs> that I made. So thanks so much to everyone who has watched, liked, not liked, shared, subscribed. Really appreciate it. Um, shout out especially to YouTubers Silent Voice and Ella Androphobia. Really appreciate your total call. Thank you so much for that. Okay, so today, Fano, I'm going to um, put some links below for you to check out. Um, the first link is going to be the submission uh, for the Conversion Practices Prohibition Legislation Bill. Okay, so that's the official name. The second link will be the Regulatory Impact Assessment for that bill. Okay, and what that document does or lists out in black and white is basically the assessment, um, you know, risks, quality assurance, that kind of thing. But I want to bring your attention, Fano, to page two of that assessment document, section B, where it talks about likely risks and unintended impacts. And the words there are, among other words, but I'm quoting here, the lack of of baseline data on the prevalence of conversion practices makes it difficult to estimate the costs, etc., etc. Okay, so I'll repeat that again. The lack of baseline data on the prevalence of conversion practices. Okay, right underneath that, it says, and I quote, there is little evidence on the prevalence or nature of conversions or of conversion practices in New Zealand. Sorry, I buggered that up. I'll say it again. There is little evidence on the prevalence or nature of conversion practices in New Zealand. Which, of course, begs the question, or well, why the bill in the first place? Okay, so... Anyway, so the third link that I'm going to put there is to do with the sex self-ID bill that I was discussing. Um, it's officially called BDMRR, which is Births, Deaths, Marriages and Relationships Registration Bill. Now, I don't know if there is or will be already has been a submission date, Fano. I'm sorry. Um, but I know that it's progressed to a committee whole of house, okay? Um, the MP in charge of that bill is Jan Tanetti. So ask her, I guess, if there will be a submission date, if you're interested, that is. Okay, and then the fourth link that I'm going to provide for you um, is a, a document by um, a fellow called Colin Wright. And the heading of that document is sex chromosome variants are not their own unique sexes. I don't really want to talk much about that. Talked about it till i in the face actually. Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I've tried to be a bit more prepared this time. Okay, so um, so I've been blocked from a Māori focus page <laughs> on Facebook, which to be honest, I am not surprised. By the way, they are quite entitled to block who they want to block. You know, that's, that's their page, and that's fine. You know, but what I want to point to, uh, point out to you, Fano, is, you know, um, on that page, they bang on about, you know, Māori, uh, you know, inclusive, accepting, you know, diverse. Well, they certainly didn't include me. <laughs> You know, they don't accept me at all and they don't appreciate diversity of thought or diversity of opinion, you know. So they proved me right, by the way. And it's not just me me either. It's another another Wahine was also was also blocked. Um so how it went, just gonna, you know, do the surface on this. I shared shared my video, was shocked that it was actually accepted <laughs> you know um and then it was like I couldn't even keep up with you know the comments and I just got the typical you know crap um 
you know, just fluff and nonsense, basically. Um, then it was removed, and then it was reposted, and then removed again, okay? Then someone else made a post on the page saying, ah, uh, where's that video? <laughs> which then started another, you know, comment thread, which eventually was removed, and now I'm blocked, okay? So, in the initial posting, the claims about Tipuna are outrageous, totally and utterly outrageous and not true. I'm more than happy to say that. You know, the funny thing, what's well, not actually funny, I know this happens all the time, not just in New Zealand, everywhere. Whenever men, whenever Tane come in and go, eh, that's, no. You know, what you're saying there is a, is a load of too tight. You know, for some reason, everyone all suddenly knows that, oh, that's a Tane, and I'm not going to challenge him. You know, they always leave the men alone. Like, you seriously, you watch, you know, observe Fano, and you see how often wahine are attacked on this, on social media, you know, um, and Tane are not. So this claim that our culture is gender neutral, load of crap. We know who gave birth to whom, you know. Um, sorry, just reading this. Da -da 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 -da, my notes. Um, oh, yeah, and there was a libelous claim made against me that in my last video, or first video, <laughs> um, I was praising the Taliban. You know, so I just want to caution you, Fana. Um, this is not a threat, you know. I realise that transgender, this is how aggressive they are, transgender rights activists, they will smear you, they will call you all kinds of names, they will, they will hunt you down. Man, women have lost their jobs, you know, for speaking out over this. Um, but I just want to caution, Fano, when you're online, especially because of the laws now, that you be very careful about what you claim about people. I mean, you know, you just can't go around making egregious claims about people, especially when it's, you know, when you can be proven to be lying. Um, take that how you, how you will. Um, but look, I <laughs> I suspect... That my video was removed, which is suspicion, um, because some whānau uh, would, have would have complained about being hurt by my all. You know, it, they all do it, you know, all around the world. Trans transgender rights activists complain. They, you know, they, they claim that their entire community are going to be harmed. <sighs> you know, and I think... To be too afraid of robust debate or engaging with wahine, how can you haka when you're scared of kōrero? I don't get that. You know, how does that work, you know? Kamate, kamate. Ow! You know, like, if you're not interested in engaging in robust debate, then don't. Kakite, you don't have to. Okay, so, you know, the, the other thoughts that I've had too, Fano, is that I've never known legislation to be expedited in this, in a similar manner, like sex self-ID and conversion therapy and all that stuff, for Indigenous anywhere in the world. Never heard of it. I mean, I could be wrong. Um, feel free to call me out on that. But I've never heard of it. Well, you know, and I'm talking about... I'm not talking about legislation that takes our kids off us or stuff like that. I'm talking about legislation that, you know, that helps, that helps us, that helps Indigenous or gives their land back to them. Yeah. So, you know, and the thing too, Fano, is that New Zealand is at the end of a very long and convoluted gender identity conga line. So everything that is being said by transgender activists... It's already been said before. You know, with most countries at the minute, because of the Bell v. Tavistock case, there are countries now that are actually peeling back <laughs> on, 
on medicalising children. Um, because they don't want to get sued. And yet here is New Zealand, you know, coming in, trying to, or rather, presenting this bill. You know, again, the bill is obviously, give it context, to do with Tamariki who claim to be transgender. Um, you know, and that's the other thing too. There have been plenty of bills that have been passed in governments, coloniser governments, that have um, removed tamariki from their whānau. Um, you know, tamariki or children are always used as, a, as part and parcel of a colonising tool. So for Māori to be celebrating this seems a bit odd to me. Okay, um... I think that's about about all. But look, I'm just I just want to encourage you, Fano, to keep you know have have a discussion amongst yourselves. Really think about you know what we're saying when we when we support medicalising your children, like the, the gender, um, sorry, the conversion prohibition practices bill. What it does is it's redefined what conversion therapy is. They've admitted that they don't have any evidence to say that there are conversion practices happening in New Zealand. Conversion practices, um, really, by you know, sexual orientation is the traditional meaning. Um, but what they've done now is they've um, oh, there's a having a picnic up there. Um, they've added to that definition gender identity. So. Oops. So what they mean by that is if you say to your son, no son, you can't chop off, I can't chop off your dick or no daughter, I can't chop off your breasts. You know, that is actually converting your children. That's what this bill is doing. So by protecting your children against inevitable harm, irreversible harm to lifelong medication you know you're making lifelong patients of these children who are gender questioning I don't know if the taxpayer is going to be footing that bill I have no idea I've asked but haven't had a response yet anyway you know just these things to talk about to you know bandy about and have a call it all far no and then contact your MPs okay because you are their constituents Essentially, they work for you, not for you, but, you know, they work in your best interest and they're not going to know what your concerns are if you don't either write or speak to them. I actually recommend you do both because when you write to a polit your politician, like it's recorded, you know what I mean? And when your muko go to find, you know, go to look up what you've done in your life, they can see that you tried to help protect tamariki. Okay, so anyway, in closing, I'll get off now soon. Um, I just want to let you know that this channel, it's not just myself. Um, I belong to a ropu of um, Manawahine. And so we will essentially be uploading videos like this, you know, individual videos, but like Marae in the Sky, you know, when one person speaks, everyone listens. Okay, so that's how we're going to present it first. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> um, I can't give you um, consistency or anything like that. You know, we're all busy women, kids to look after, moko to spoil, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, so anyway, so look out for that. Um, I also want to refer you to Women's Liberation Aotearoa, they're on Twitter, and I believe the... I should look this up for us. Um, Women's Liberation Aotearoa.org.nz. Now, I actually will link, put a link to the website in the description as well, too. Um, also, we are not the only women who are talking out about this. There are women from all over the world talking about this every single week. And um, if you check out on YouTube, WHRC, Fano. That's Women's Human Rights Campaign. We have got sisters talking from Uganda, from Peru, from Germany, from Italy, 
um, from well, everywhere, okay? Um, and there's also an Australian New Zealand arm of WHRC. So highly recommend you check it out. Um, and just in closing, you know, claims that our culture, that Māori culture, is gender neutral, tūtai, okay? So tāne, tāne know who the wahine are, <laughs> you know? It's no secret, you know, everyone... All of us, doesn't matter how you identify, we are all born. One egg, one sperm, okay? Or egg, one sperm. You can't get more binary than that. Okay, got to run. Hi, Dada.